Hi, this is DJ Horton, the uh, podcaster with Advantages to Aging and a founding brand partner with Neora. And I wanted to give you some great travel tips that you should think about um, as you're getting ready to head to the beach or anywhere else. There's some especially skincare mistakes to avoid when you're traveling. So the first is make sure you're staying super hydrated. Lots and lots of water. Tea and coffee don't count because they actually dehydrate you even more. So drink water during your travel time, especially if you're flying and after as well. It's super important because uh, especially air travel is very dehydrating, but even buses, trains, cars, all of those end up um, uh, dehydrating you. So what you also want to watch out for is your alcohol consumption during your flight. Not saying that you shouldn't drink it. I'm just saying make sure that you drink a glass or two of water in between because that's going to help to keep you hydrated. Again, alcohol also dehydrates you. The other thing you want to do is... Um, over moisturize. And I, you know, I moisturize a, a couple of different ways. Um, but the, the AJQ day cream is, is very hydrating. So I find that if I put this all over me and, um, the, the Neora firm body contouring cream is amazing as well. It will really help to keep you hydrated. So you especially want to hydrate, um, or, or protect, moisturize your arms, your face, your feet, and your legs, if they're, especially if they're exposed, because the air on um, airplanes is also very drying. So you just totally tend to dry your skin out and add that doubly if you're not staying hydrated with all that water. The other thing that a lot of people don't think about one, you know, is that moisturizing, but the other is when you're flying, you should be applying lots and lots of SPF whenever you're traveling, especially on airplanes, because, well, they're closer to the sun and you're getting all those rays right through the windows. And what you want to make sure that you're doing is reapplying often. So I love a couple, couple of SPFs. One is um, for the body, like when you're out on the beach, uh, Shackley has a really good clean um, sunscreen that I find uh, is not, it doesn't come off easily. Uh, it, 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 you do have to reapply after being in the water for a prolonged period. But if you go in just to rinse off or cool off before you go back and lay on the beach or by the pool, you don't have to apply it quite as often. But think about, you know, like what is the index? And how, whatever that is, you got to adjust how many more, how many minutes between reapplying. The other one I really love is the Invisiblock uh, sunscreen for your face, because not only does it protect you from those UVA and UVB rays of the sun, but also from the blue rays of your electronic devices. And oftentimes on an airplane, not only are we on our phone or watching the little screen, watching a movie, but everybody around us has it too. So you're being constantly bombarded with those blue rays and blue rays actually damage your skin deeper than the UVA and UVB rays of the sun. And I love Invisiblock is super lightweight. Um, you can put it right on over top of makeup. So you don't have to worry about disturbing your makeup if you have that on while you're traveling. Uh, the other thing is you really want to stick to your skincare routine because it doesn't take much to disrupt your skin, especially when you're traveling because you're, you know, like you're eating differently, your sleep habits are different. So you really want to, you know, pay attention to those things. Like I'm not saying don't enjoy all the food of the locale that you're going to, but keep in mind that you have to kind of offset that because it is definitely affecting your body. So one of the things that um, I love is the HIQ night and day cream, because even at this size, they are under the three ounces that you can take in your carry-on. So this works really well. The face wash is a little too big because it's four ounces, but we have a travel mini size that's refillable that makes um that also a, a travel um 
perk. So eat right, sleep right, exercise. And but keep in mind, even before you're getting ready for traveling, is if you're going to be doing a ton of walking and you don't do a ton of walking now, a week or two beforehand, start increasing, even if it's just walking around your house, walking around your yard, start increasing the amount of movement that you get in. Doesn't mean you have to go to the gym, just means you need to move your body more. So the other thing is, especially make sure that you are washing your face before you go to bed. Why? Because you're being exposed to all those different environmental stressors. Um, oftentimes we're outside more, we're doing more, so we're sweating more. Um, we're being exposed to something that's different from what we are typically um, you know, used to. And even if it's late at night, make sure that you're doing that. And the HIQ face wash also removes all of your makeup. So that's one step that you can eliminate and you don't need to use a toner. So it's one product, don't need all the extras. Um, and, and if you don't wash your face before you go to bed, know that you are aging your face eight to 10 days while you sleep overnight. You heard me right, eight to 10 days. So you definitely want to make sure whether you're traveling or not, that you are washing your face. And one of the reasons that I say bring your own skincare and stick to your skincare routine is because I know that the hotels offer like skincare products, hair care products, all that kind of stuff. No, do not be using those. Why? Because every time you are um, getting into a new skincare routine, you will have breakouts. Let me repeat that. You will have breakouts every time you change your skincare routine. Does not mean that you're allergic to it. Does not mean anything else. It means that your body is now adjusting. And during that adjusting period, it's going to get rid of things that it doesn't, it, it either didn't get rid of before or is adjusting to. So breakouts are normal. And if you want to el eliminate or minimize um, breakouts, the complexion clearing clad pads, not only are for acne, but they are gentle plant-based exfoliant so that you can um, not only get rid of all those ex extra um, stressors, environmental stressors, but you are also smoothing out your skin, deep cleaning your pores. And then if you add the Aluma Boost, which is a vitamin C and that of cinnamide separated to keep that vitamin C fresh until you're ready to use it, that will also help you to eliminate or minimize any of the sun damage that you're doing while you're traveling to all those bright, sunny, warm places. So let's talk a little bit about that sun damage. Hang on. Mm. So SPF, you want to layer it and reapply often. Don't think that you're going to, you know, like save yourself by buying makeup that has SPF in it or even a day cream that has an SPF in it because that SPF, once it starts to get mixed with another product, it starts to get denigrate. So if you think you have 45 SPF on, by the time you actually, it's been manufactured, it's sat in the warehouse and then in the store that you bought it from, it is not 45 anymore. So you definitely want to make sure that you are layering it. And, um, you know, it, it you, you, you just do that. I tend to put my SPF on last because that's blocking. That's the, the closest um, to the sun. Um, that's the way I do it. Don't rely, as I said, on those um, moisturizers or makeup that has SPF in it. The other thing a lot of people don't think about, like we think about putting SPF on our skin to protect it, but what about your hair? Do you know that the sun and chemicals from the pool and salt from the sea also damage your hair? And it will also create a heat rash um, in the scalp when those sweat glands become clogged due to blockage. So this is why sometimes you get those red itchy bumps uh, not just on our skin, but also on our scalp, which actually, I guess, is your skin. Um, and there are products on the market that can help with that, but be sure to get one that has clean ingredients. One of the ones that I use is the Prolex hair mask. And the reason I use it is that it really does seal in and protect your hair from all of those things, as well as it almost feels like, a, to me, a keratin treatment because it's sealing and repairing root to tip 
and protecting as well. And it is all, so, so this is the four ounces. So this is too big for the carry-on, um, but you can definitely put it into a smaller container. Um, the other thing I wanted to make sure that you knew is that summer heat can actually increase the permeability of your gut lining. There's another thing you probably didn't think about while you're traveling. And what it really allows is those toxins to pass through the stomach lining into the rest of your body. So bloating can occur and, and make worse symptoms like gastrointestinal um, flare-ups and infections. Uh, it can really cause you a lot of pain. And oftentimes that happens while we're traveling and not necessarily always because of the food we're eating, but sometimes because of that change in temperature. So even though it might not, you know, like seem hot because of the, the numbers on the therm thermometer, but if that's not what you're used to, that's not what your body is used to, you need to take that into consideration. Um, a good pre and probiotic can really help with that. Um, but keeping really hydrated with water is really the best way to keep cool. Uh, and also make sure that you're packing a hat and wearing that. Even if you don't typically wear hats, you want to be doing that because that's going to help to protect you and keep the, um, the sun off the top of your head, which is what oftentimes causes a lot of that heat exhaustion. So here's some healthy summer tips as well. So I just want to take a look at my notes here, make sure I'm not missing anything um, because, you know, heat and dehydration really can po pose not some skin breakouts or really cause some health issues. It's just not uncomfortable. It can really have serious side effects on people's physical health, mental well-being, and even cognitive ability. Some are, some things are mild, like the swelling of your hands or feet. Oftentimes when we're traveling, especially on airplanes, that is something that you um, can experience. Again, make sure you're really staying hydrated. But some of those more dangerous things are like con um, confusion and seizures can be caused by those heat and dehydration problems. So be sure to pay attention to your body and cool off when it feels really hot. Thirst is our body's way of telling us that it's dehydrated. So if you're thirsty, you have waited too long before drinking water. So you actually want us to be drinking before you feel thirsty. We lose water when we sweat, but we also lose sodium, chloride, potassium, magnesium, and calcium when we're sweating as well. So those are all electrolytes that facilitate hundreds of body processes and are really essential to keeping... Um, us healthy. And so it's essential to be keeping those levels steady. So sometimes, um, you know, you want to be drinking water, but also like our, if you throw in our youth factor, it still counts as water. It's not processed. So it's not bottled processed like that. And it's, com it's uh, completely packed with all the fresh fruits and, and vegetables, like three to four servings of that in one bottle. So one sleeve will, um, Typically, you can just put it in an eight or 10 ounce bottle and you're good to go. And so you're going to stay up with all those electrolytes. The other thing is when you're traveling, you want to eat more dark green vegetables and add in some summer fruit to your diet so that you're supplementing your fiber consumption, which is going to aid in your digestion. So your gut houses lots of precise levels of good bacteria. So one way that we can power charge our digestive health is by lending it some support to help those healthy bacteria with probiotic foods and supplements, um, like the block and balance that Neora Fit has to offer. That's a great way. And they're little sleeves that you can throw in anything like a suitcase, a, a purse, a backpack, anything. Um, the other thing is watching your alcohol and sugar consumption, because as I said earlier, it can dehydrate us even quicker. So try alternating between those alcoholic drinks and a glass of water or cut juices with water um, so that you're reducing the sugar content. Cleanse your skin daily, as I said, sometimes even several times a day, depending on what it is that you're doing. Summer is not the time to skip your nightly cleansing routine or no routine at all. So protect your hair with good hair mask before going into the pool to block the chlorine from being absorbed. And, um, you know, just 
enjoy your trip. And I hope that you find these tips really helpful. Mm -hmm.